Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm working on a John Deere L118 tractor, and something's up with the battery. <clears throat> and there's kind of like a backstory to this one. The the people with this tractor called up and said that you know it wouldn't start, so I got it. I brought it back to the shop. Um, I tested it out. The battery was low, and then. Uh, I tested the regulator and the stator was good the regulator was bad so I put in a new regulator and then I tested the battery when it was running and it was up around 14 volts and charging properly so I brought the tractor back I dropped it off I think they mowed the lawn I think that day and then uh, it sat for a week and I got a call yesterday that the tractor's not starting so I'm not sure why it's not starting because I know I put in a new regulator I know it was charging so I'm thinking you know it could be like parasitic draw so uh, I'm gonna run a couple tests on this and we'll see if that is the issue and uh, we'll just take it from there but I don't like getting calls back and uh, in this business you're always going to get some calls back so we'll see what happens here. Here's a look at the tractor and for those of you that are new to the channel or you're not quite sure what parasitic drawl is, it is when your battery is losing current from some device that's on in your car or in your tractor that's kind of stealing energy from your battery and draining it so it could be as simple as a light being on in a car or a radio that stays on or you could leave a key switch on in a tractor and the solenoid stays on or you could leave the lights on on the tractor and those things will drain your battery so I have the key switch off we're going to take a look at the battery and test it to see if there is a parasitic draw on this unit. So I guess I should mention I put a new battery in this thing. The battery says 421 on it and I guess they wrote 51421. Um, that's that's must have been when I had it here and serviced this thing. So uh, there is a, a newer battery and I'm going to start out by the first thing I'm going to do, we'll check the voltage on the battery. So DC volts. I did charge it up a little bit. We are at 12.60. Okay. So that should be enough to get it cranking, but we're going to check for draw now. So the next thing I'm going to do is we'll pop the negative off the battery okay and now we can run our test here for a parasitic draw test we're going to take the red lead we're going to put it over this 10 amp circuit because we're going to be t testing amperage. So now this meter is telling me that I need to be on the amperage circuit and this is uh, DC amperage. So what we're going to do is we will hold the leads one, let me see if you're in focus here, we're going to put one on each battery terminal. Let me get some light for you. All right, now I think you can see the meter. And I'm gonna connect it to the negative lead and the negative post on the battery. And we're gonna see if there's any amp draw. And what you see here is zero. So the key is off, zero amps. So there's no draw whatsoever from the battery. Now, I'm going to hit the key, I will turn it one click, and what that will do when I 
um, connect this path is that should light the lights because that's the light setting. So you'll be able to see when we touch here, our lights are lighting and those lights are taking 4.34 amps. Now I'm going to check the solenoid. So I move the key one more turn. That'll turn off the lights. And 0.4 amps is what the solenoid's taking. So there's really not too much electrical stuff going on with this tractor. Why is this beeping? So you have lights, you have a solenoid, and you know there's not an electric PTO. I don't really know what else it would really be. But uh, you could see that we're not losing um, any voltage from those devices. So at this point, I've pretty much proven, at least to myself, that uh, there's no draw coming off the battery. So the only other thing really left here is the battery. So I'm going to go back and check this battery voltage. And what I want to see is what's, the, what's this thing at? 12.58. And if you remember, it was just that 12.6. Well, now the battery's not connected to anything because I got that negative lead off. So what I want to do is I want to let this sit, and I want to see if this battery continues to drop. So if it's not the battery, what could it be? It's possible that you leave the key on slightly or you leave the lights on. Uh, it's more likely that you would leave the solenoid on, but in order on the key switch, you actually have to turn it two clicks. The first click would turn on the lights, telling you, hey, the battery's being drained. Or you turn it twice, the lights go out, and then the solenoid goes on. So this particular tractor, it would be kind of tough um, to leave the key switch on. I don't think you'd do it two clicks, and they don't have little kids there because that can always be an issue as well. So uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that the issue with this tractor is not user error, but I believe I have an issue with the battery. And um, I don't know, a lot of you guys that have small engine businesses or jobs that uh, we talk to on YouTube, I'm not so sure a lot of you are uh, paying your taxes and that, but uh, I am. And uh, I've become a hydro gear dealer, a Stens dealer, a interstate battery dealer. And that works out pretty well because, you know, you get these things delivered, whether it's batteries or uh, transmissions, and you're going to pay, you know, the dealer price. So you'll make some money um, and you don't have to pay tax when you buy them. And uh, you're going to sell them, you know, for a profit. So... I am an interstate battery dealer and I believe that I have an issue with this battery it's just uh, draining something's wrong with one of the cells or something so the nice thing about being a dealer is they have a two-year warranty and I'm gonna use that warranty and we're gonna get a new battery put in this tractor um, the only issue is their interstate at least around here, they're on back order with some of the batteries. Uh, I usually use the 350 cranking amp batteries, but uh, I think now they're, they only have the 450s in stock, so they're a little bit pricey. But uh, we'll put it in here for this customer and keep them happy. Um, but <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to test that battery. We'll see if the voltage drops, which I think it is. And... Uh, then I'll just pull it out and we'll swap the battery for this guy. So, uh, should take care of it. And um, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two here about parasitic draw on your tractor. So good luck with your projects. And if you're not a subscriber, I'm Double Wide 6. Got a whole bunch of repair videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.